As most parents know, sometimes it's hard to get children to eat healthy. Many assume that kids automatically dislike healthy food, but is that really true? It turns out that researchers aren't entirely sure how children feel about healthy food. Studies have suggested that children prefer to binge on sugary, energy-dense foods and avoid fruits and vegetables. However, other studies have reported that children like fruits more than candy and pastries. Are these studies in contradiction with one another, or could their differences reflect how different aspects of children's attitudes towards healthy food develop in the first place? To address this neglected question, we analyzed attitudes towards healthy and unhealthy foods among 1,412 Croatian children five to nine years old. We examined two kinds of attitudes: explicit and implicit. Children can hold explicit or consciously accessible attitudes about the nutritional benefits of particular foods, and they can report these attitudes themselves. At the same time, children can hold implicit attitudes about foods, which reflects more automatic emotion or sensory responses to the foods. To date. Little research has examined both types of attitudes in the same sample of children. Our research showed that children's explicit attitudes were more positive towards unhealthy than healthy foods, which may not surprise many parents. However, their implicit attitudes were actually more positive towards healthy foods. Both implicit and explicit attitudes towards healthy foods became more favorable. As the children entered and progressed through elementary school, interestingly, these more favorable attitudes in children were associated with consumption of larger amounts of healthy foods and stronger beliefs in children that healthy foods made them strong. Finally, both types of attitudes were influenced by the children's environment. Those who watched more television. Held more favorable attitudes towards unhealthy foods at both conscious and automatic levels. Our study illustrates how accounting for implicit as well as explicit attitudes across different age groups can help explain more comprehensively what children believe about healthy or unhealthy foods and how those beliefs relate to actual food behaviors. Our results lead to at least two recommendations for how policymakers and parents can foster positive attitudes towards healthy food in children. First, schools should promote positive aspects of healthy eating. Young children do not automatically prefer unhealthy food. In fact, we found evidence in our study that teaching children about nutrition in school was associated with stronger implicit attitudes. That healthy food is tasty. Second, educators should work with parents to limit children's television watching. Since the more children watched television, the more positive were their implicit and explicit attitudes towards unhealthy food. Removing televisions from children's bedrooms could be one step in this direction. As many parents may already suspect, extensive television advertisements. Promoting food high in fat, salt, and sugar likely lead to less positive attitudes towards healthy food in children. Our study provides new insights into children's implicit and explicit attitudes towards healthy food. Our work suggests that these attitudes are not hardwired; they differ across ages, and they can be influenced by environmental factors. Our findings should prompt parents and policymakers to think about how to create an environment in which children prefer to eat healthy.